dinosaur had one thing that set apart from all the other ornithomimids. The hand bones were longer than its foot bones, which were already really long for a dinosaur. Some think that they would have used these long hands to pull down tree branches, just like ancient giant sloths. This might be unlikely for Mexidracon, since it lived alongside the equally unusual dinosaur, Paraxanisaurus. This weird animal already had large hooked claws and long arms that would have helped it pull down tree branches. It seems unlikely that Mexidracon would compete with this dinosaur in the same niche, so that probably would have been what it used its long hands for. Other wilder theories think that it would have used these long claws to help it catch fish. However, that might not be the case either. While no claws were found for Mexidracon, one of the mimics are not known to have claws that are ideal for catching small prey. When we look at the foot claws of raptors, the hand claws of bigger predators like Allosaurus, or even the talons of birds of prey, we can see that these claws are long and curved, which act as hooks when they sink into prey. But the claws of nearly all ornithomimids are short and almost entirely straight. These would have been the exact opposite of what you would need to catch prey.